I'll go over a brief overview of the project and the problem we are trying to solve. Then discuss about how we went about in researching for our product and how this research resulted in finding our solution and ideation of the app. I'll also go over the design of the project such as logo, colors, low fidelity and high fidelity prototypes, pitch decks, and more. And lastly, I will end with the impact of the project. JYB is an early stage startup in the mobile app space. The purpose of the product is to combat online bullying within teens and preteens in the realms of social media. My role in the startup was the lead product designer and catalyst. My team consisted of a lawyer, two social workers, another student, and I. This product took around two months to complete and I was hired during my last year of university. Our startup aims to create a solution to tackle online bullying that occurs in teens and preteens. Initially, we thought we would make an app where we could censor harmful things to the teens slash preteens and add their application, enter a bank of harmful words, and then program to block out the hate or flag it. Later on, we discovered that censorship is not the way to go. For user research, we had two routes where we first talked to our target users directly, teens and preteens, with school partnerships, and the second was hosting a hackathon where students from my college were competing in and having preteens on site to help judge the project. When we went to go talk to students one-on-one, -on -one, they blew off our idea of censoring. What they wanted was to be educated. They wanted to know what a healthy communication looks like versus a toxic one. In recognition of October being Domestic Violence Awareness Month, we hosted a hackathon, Hack for Safety, for college students competing for $1,000 in cash prizes. Good feedback from preteens on the game invented by the winners of the hackathon. This reinforced the idea that preteens and teens want to be educated in what a toxic behavior looks like. We discovered that this app needs to exist to promote healthy communication and identify unhealthy communication. This is an opportunity to show them what healthy looks like. The app will be a friend to the user and help the user out in situations. It will be designed by our users so that they can be comfortable with the app instead of it looking like a parent or an adult that supervises the user. For designing, we started off with the low fidelity prototype, which was a paper prototype. We let the students click through and give feedback before we got our final version. Afterwards, I spent some time in coming up with the colors and fonts for the app. This would match our theme and we can use it for our pitch deck for investors. I made the interactive prototype in Adobe XD and had a version of it on our phone for people to use. The interactive prototype can be split into three parts, onboarding, interaction, and red flags. For onboarding, we let the users design their own characters so that they will be able to choose something that they are more comfortable using. Sometimes they aren't comfortable with another human. In interactions, there is an option where the user can connect to the app with their social media apps. This will then allow the app to step in and detect unhealthy behavior. When the app detects words or phrases that may be unhealthy or manipulative to the user, it can flag the text and see if the user wants help or suggestions. Our startup presented the project pitch and designs to judges at an event. During the pitch, 9 out of 10 people got through the whole flow of our prototype of our app. And so GYB received funds of $75,000 for 6 months to keep it running and see what impact it makes. 
The following year, DYB decided to partner with schools and hire developers to make the app come to life. This was exciting news for us all and all our hard work paid off. Even though I was asked to continue with the startup, I decided to explore new opportunities, but still keeping in touch.